Hey guys, my name is Graham. Today we're here in beautiful Marina del Rey talking about the essentials of kayak safety while fishing. So, my name is Graham. I've been fishing my whole life. I've been kayaking for the last 10. I have a degree in marine fisheries biology from one of the best schools in the Pacific Northwest, and I've been a kayak professional for the last three years. All right, so you just bought your first kayak, or maybe you're just getting into the offshore kayaking, saltwater, anything like that. You've never been out of the kiddie pool before. First off, we're gonna talk about life vests. There's two different kinds. The one I'm wearing right now, is a foam life vest. This is your standard life vest. This goes with everything. You'll find it in every single store. This particular one is an NRS Chinook. Has plenty of pockets, loops, everything you need to attach things to. Got a spot for your radio, also very important. We'll go over that later. This will give you flotation whether or not you're in the water, whether or not you pull any cords. This will always be flotation if you go in the water. So the difference between this kayak vest and a lot of the other life vests you might find at a place like West Marine or Costco or a other sporting goods stores is this is kayak specific. It's got bigger cutouts here in the in the underarms. So you get more range of motion. It's got a, a thinner back, get a little bit more relaxed body position. The flotation pod in the back of it keeps your head above water a little bit better than the ski vests and other vests like that do. And there's a little bit more flotation centrally. So it's it's floating you a little bit more vertically, which is what you want when you bail out of a kayak rather than a ski vest, which will float you a little more horizontally. The other kind of life vest we're gonna talk about, or PFD, is an inflatable. This one from Onyx is their AM24. You pull this cord right here and it inflates with 24 pounds of buoyancy. So this is a lot more buoyant than this one, which only has about 14. But this one, once you pull it, you're done for the day. It doesn't keep its air forever. It'll keep its air long enough to keep you alive and get you back into the boat, but that's about it. And after you use this, you take this home and you have to recharge it. You have to buy a new CO2 cylinder that goes in there you have to buy a new cord and you have to buy you have to put together the bladder again. This is good for things like tournaments where you need extra mobility, really casual days, or if you're in water warm enough that you're never going to employ this unless you absolutely need to. I don't really recommend this one for your basic kayak fishing. This is this is more advanced, so I'd go with a foam first off. So here are a few of the things I like to keep on my kayak vest. Most of these are a good idea. One of them is actual requirement by law. We'll go over that in a second. First off is a whistle. U.S. Coast Guard regulations say you have to have one of these on you when you're kayaking, so I keep it leashed to me. Most important of all for safety is gonna be your radio. This is a Marine VHF two-way radio. Not your bargain Walmart walkie-talkie. This is gonna connect you to other boats, other kayakers, and the Coast Guard in case something ever goes wrong. There's a range of channels on it, weather, emergency, and about 75 channels for you to talk with your buddies on. Any kind of kayak fishing, anytime, if you're out on rough water and you expect that you might ever go over, leash it or lose it. If you don't have a leash connecting everything of value to your boat, you will eventually flip and you will eventually lose it. Next thing we're working on is paddle leashes. Your paddle is the motor of your kayak. You don't want to go out with a crappy motor, so buy the best kayak paddle you can afford. I realize not everybody's budget is the same, so go with what you can. The paddle leash is extra important because if you go over, what are you holding? You're holding onto your paddle. If you go off the side of the kayak, you can get back to the kayak as long as you're holding your paddle, even in high wind, heavy waves, or another rough situation. All right, another crucial piece of kayaking safety equipment is the dry bag. A dry bag like this is fully waterproof will keep your phones, your wallets, your clothing safe, warm, and dry for the end of the day. This will also, with air trapped inside, act as extra flotation and keep the bag on the surface so you can retrieve it if you do go in the drink. Another crucial aspect of kayak safety is your outerwear. Natural fabrics like cotton, rayon, beach, silk, bamboo, are not safe at all. They don't insulate you at all when you're wet. They can actually be more dangerous than wearing nothing at all because they will drag you down. Not technically down, but they will create drag that makes it harder to get back into the kayak, as well as pulling all of the heat out of you and sending you into hypothermia that much faster. As far as materials that are safe for kayaking, 
polyester is at the top of the list. You can get away with wool, but it's not going to insulate you nearly as much as a hollow fiber polyester will. But ideally, the best thing, the only thing that really makes you safe on the water is neoprene. Why is neoprene so important? Well, let's go over what happens when you go in the water. First thing that's going to happen is anything you're wearing is going to get soaked completely, all the way to the bone. Polyester will stop insulating as well as it was. Cotton won't insulate at all. Wool will stop insulating a little bit worse than polyester. Neoprene is the only material that will keep insulating you just as well underwater as above it. Neoprene traps a layer of warm water against your skin so that it cannot pull all the heat away from your body. A neoprene wetsuit like the one I'm wearing will actively keep me alive in waters from anywhere from 55 degrees up to 70. And they're not that expensive. I picked this one up for about 90 bucks. You can find several different varieties for less than 100, which is about the price of a good PFD. The three millimeter Farmer John I'm wearing will keep me alive if I go into the water. And it is the most important piece of safety equipment you can have besides your personal flotation device. You may have heard the term dry suit, especially in reference to wetsuits like mine. A dry suit is a little different. A dry suit is made out of the same material as a pair of breathable waders or a good rain jacket. It has full body protection. It's got a set of gauntlets at the wrist, a gasket at the neck to keep water completely out. They will keep you completely dry, completely warm and insulated in the water in any temperature, but they tend to run much more expensive. $500 is about the cheapest one you can find. One of the reasons I do care so much about kayak safety is I have personally lost a friend due to not wearing their life vest. So please wear your PFDs, like and subscribe to Dudefish TV, and stay safe out there. All right. Completely forgot what I was about to say. Hey guys, I'm here in beautiful Marina Del Rey today. Today, God damn it. <laughs> Line. Some of these are a little hard to leash. I took the leash pads off of mine, but that happens. That was awful. My name's Graham. I've been a kayaker for about 10 years. I've been fishing for 20. I forget what I was gonna say next. <laughs> yeah. My name is Graham. I am Dimitri. Thanks for joining us. My name is Graham again, and I am so, oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> good B-roll, good, good B-roll. You can freeze to death wearing a cotton t-shirt and jeans just as easily as if you weren't wearing that's a weird direction to go oh, in. Let's see, how do I make that sound a little less creepy, you know? As if you're naked. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> Be sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button for more content like this. Hit any one of the boxes on the screen right now and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.